All right, thank you, Derek. It is time for the dinner portion of our dinner and a movie segment. And today we're skipping the main course, heading straight for dessert. That's fine with me, and we'll welcome student chef Alice Moon from the U of I. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Welcome back. So tiramisu we're going for today. Mm -hmm. how, how do we get started making this? All right, so first there are two parts. You have to make the custard, and then you have to deal with the cakes. And so first we're going to start with the custards. Right now we separated the egg whites and our egg yolks. All right. And so right now... We so we're using the eggs or the egg yolks? We're using both, actually. Oh. So first, we're going to start out with our egg yolks right here. We're going to heat those up a little bit, really lightly, and then add half of our three-quarters of a cup of sugar. Oh, so that was it? That was you beating that? <laughs> or did really you do lightly. that beforehand? That was really quick. No, they're already... So really these lightly. are very lightly beaten. Uh, I heard gonna... lightly. I didn't realize that seemed <laughs> almost too light, but okay. It goes by really quick. Okay, wow. How many eggs was that? Three? That was about six eggs. Oh, right there. six. Mm -hmm. Okay, I missed a few. <laughs> okay, so we're going to incorporate all our sugar in there. It's really quick. So you have that. Sugar's all mixed up. Then you're going to take your mascarpone cheese. It's this Italian um, dressing, or not dressing, dessert cheese. Where do you Sorry, find that in the store? Um, Mostly they're at like places like Whole Foods, more like organic, um, Worldwide grocery stores. All right. So I didn't know there was such a thing as dessert cheese. <laughs> yeah, it's a little sweeter and has like a little more of a tart flavor to it. Hmm. Right. So we're just gonna incorporate this all together. But it is a cheese. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So, <laughs> all right. That's interesting, intriguing, huh, Heather? <laughs> I guess it is yeah. because I I knew it was like a dessert mm -hmm. type thing, but I didn't know it was cheese. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so now we have. The beginning of our custard, mm. and now we're gonna get our egg whites, which we left in the fridge. That's probably a good spot mm -hmm. for them. Nice and cold. All right, so we took our egg whites and we whipped them up like crazy, and so now they are about quadruple the uh, volume. Oh, wow. And so this is actually gonna bring a lot of volume to um, our Can custard. Show the sink. Yeah. So is that <laughs> the definition of custard? Does it all have eggs in it? Or? Yeah, most of the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And cheese, is that common for custard? Uh, not always. The mascarpone just adds a different flavor to it. So that's what gives tiramisu like its um, identity, its flavor. And so now we're just going to combine all this together. And you don't want to overmix this because if you overmix egg whites, it'll make it unfluffy and very, very dense. All right. So now, did you mix those egg whites by hand or with a mixer? With an electric mixer. Okay. And you do it really fast. It takes about like five to eight minutes. So you take this and just mix it all together. Mm. Custardy. <laughs> Looking nice and fluffy. Okay. And then we're going to put this in our dish or mm -hmm. what comes next? So I'm going to teach you guys how to make the cakes now. All right. And so we have are these Italian crackers called Ladyfingers. This is really exciting because right now they look like crackers, but what we're going to do is, you guys can all try this too. You can take a Ladyfinger. Okay. Okay, yep. Dip it in our espresso. Really quick like that. Oh, oh. this is espresso. Mm -hmm. Okay. Real fast. Because oh. yeah. <laughs> if you soak them for too long, they get really soggy and they don't taste as good. Oh, mm. And so I splashed a little bit of hazelnut in the espresso to give it a little that's flavor. That's good. Mm. Yeah. And so well, I already good. licked my fingers, so I can't help that. <laughs> but that was, that's we good espresso. That's that his way of getting out of work. Oh, sorry, Alice, everybody. I got to tell you. <laughs> we got this. We're really good at this. Okay. Does it matter if they go face up or down? Um, you can have the sugar side down because they're a little more dense and they'll catch most of Oops. the moisture. But it's fine if it doesn't end up that way. Sorry. <laughs> if I was helping, I would have done it right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Sure. There we go. Okay. All right. And what we're going to do next, we're going to take our custard right here, and we're going to do a very generous, even layer on top of that. Right there. I don't think... Have you ever had... Tiramisu? I have not, so I'm so excited to try it. It's yeah. smelling amazing mm -hmm. over here. This is a common thing I've heard of, but I've never, you know, mm -hmm. tried it or made it, certainly. It's, um, usually it has espresso and rum in it, and it's called a pick-me-up in Italian. And so, basically, it has a little bit of the rum to give you the kick, and then a little bit of the espresso to wake you up a little bit. Oh, that sounds fun. Mm -hmm. and now, are we going to put more lady fingers on top? Yeah. First, we're going to do a layer of cocoa, actually. Oh. Oh, so, yeah. It's like a big layered cake so we're gonna do that so is this like a is this a summertime thing usually or is this for the winter? it can go all year round mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's just a very common dessert that italians love eating all right well, we're gonna let you finish it up with mm -hmm. the next layer and um we're gonna try this a little bit later perfect sounds so, exciting yeah thanks so much for coming in if you would like to try to make some tiramisu tonight for dessert go to ciliving.tv right now we actually have the recipe posted for you there